by decree of nature. I think that I was given the special little talent to explain some things as I feel that it was uh, given to me to talk about. And I tried to express that through series of lines, shape, color, value, texture, and ultimately content. I guess started by uh, dissecting the elements of art and trying to understand its uh, meaning through its own language, and that is like line. You have a linear piece, right? Well, I think that line was taught like we talk, and that is. Uh, we express ourselves through various media. When I, I see a line, it speaks to me of time, of space, and the way I organize it is what I think gives it its uh, intrinsic message of educational purposes. Because, uh, but the line does, like that black echo there, it, it talks about the echo and it, it's taking uh, five lines to equal one line. Because you look at that and you see the five lines that's creating the one space. But then, uh, you move away from that into a series like this where the lines is making up is is uh, also expressing color sensation and uh, time intervals by the way you the distance between the negative space and the positive space. Some of it has to do with structural integrity. For example, that piece there is done out of Jabon. First, at the wood frame, and the Jabon is attached to the uh, wood frame. It's a logical progression. And I, I uh, find that this piece, for example, came out of uh, the investigation of life, but then I'm also talking about the machinery that I've come to, to, to produce this that is done by computerization. Now, I, I've not been in, I've had the computer about three years now. You know, I think this was a piece that introduced the computer to me. It was 
being able to produce that. I did one of them that's on my wall in my house that uh, I did uh, totally by hand. And it took months for me to do that. I take this by computerization, have it done in two days. It's ready. And so I can spend that time making more pieces and being more involved in, in uh, pouring out the message rather than so consumed and only in process. Uh, I like to uh, talk about the prevalence of process. By that I mean I want you to understand why I put a, a there's a nail, for example, in the piece to hold us on to a board, that the whole logic of putting it together becomes very important to me. The other thing that I uh, talk about in my work a lot is the dependence on one thing on another, you know. Um, that line by itself means nothing hardly unless it's organized in a way that will transport it through space and time in certain intervals. And we all create our pathways by the way that we uh, orchestrate our pieces and what we're trying to, to uh, achieve. All of my work has to do with uh, dependence on each other. You know, how we come together. You are doing what you do. I do what I do, but it all comes together. We both stabilized by the floor, which is made by I don't know how many people, right? We both sit in chairs, but ultimately we're being held by somebody that created the floor. And so it all connects together to me to create that synthesis of oneness you know, I just hope you enjoy the show and uh, think about some of the things that I think about and hope that my uh, little language is understood. Uh, it's been a, a joy to me to have lived these 86 years and been able to uh, pass through time and collect a few thoughts and leave a few thoughts you know, on, on a board so someone can read it.